Hi, Ian. Who? Hi, Ian. Ah, we meet again. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Man, did we have a good time yesterday. Where do we begin? Gremlins in the shop. We had audio problems. We had tool problems. We had Monday problems. But hey, I think we're well past that now. Look, everything is falling into place. You may notice a lot of background noise. We are in the serious winter. We're having the typical classic Mojave wind event. So whew, if you can see what it looks like out there right now, just a little, a little rattly and shaky around here. <laughs> so what we accomplished, look at this little sidebar footstep thing. Uh, we're going to go through the process today. Hopefully you can all hear me now. Hear us now. So we're going to double up that same idea and then put in two reinforcements. The idea being it's going to be a little bit wider of a floorboard because I was going to fall right out of this thing. True story. Working on some stuff with the rims and tires. I uh, took the back ones off because I'm going to get rid of those dried up old hunks and uh, sandblast the rims. I really like those white rims, steel rims that were on there. But these center line style, they don't look bad either. These were off a Baja bug I had laying around, but I don't know, you could switch it up, I guess, right? One set for the sand, one set for the desert rocks. I digress. Let's bend some tubes, shall we? So what we looked at yesterday was we had 10 foot section of tube. I only wanted to use that. So we ended up with two five foot sides. What we did, we effortlessly slid it into this tool. <laughs> effortlessly. Still gonna work on just getting this pin aligned a little bit better. See that? Effortlessly. There was a lot of editing that happened today. <laughs> about I watched 20, it. About 20 minutes of uh... Yeah, I watched it. So notice all the pins. I, say, I said effortlessly. There uh -huh. it is, look at that. Effortlessly. <laughs> I'm gonna push that thing around the dial to 90 degrees. And Jamie will edit out all the weighting on this hydraulic bender. Yes, I will. So there, well, you can see it's coming around the dial. Right there. Shwing. As soon as you see that, I like to go just a touch past. Back it off. Look at that. Tool works perfect. Back in action. All right, we also talked a little bit about, um, we also talked a little bit about how I was setting this up to just work as a five foot piece. Cause see the way it ended up under the seat there. Originally I was trying to aim for that roll bar, but I just ran out of material and I didn't think like it really like affected the overall look of the project, having it land under the seat cushion. What I did was uh, I looked at this area here so I could come in with a reinforcement bar, you know, something to really keep that rigid. So I made the bend at that, at that point and it just worked out fine. I mean, it just landed. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Get this tire out of the way. Just gonna copy what we did. That to that and this magic marker is still on that tube. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And I made, I don't remember the video, but I made a little wire template of the angle. If we didn't cover that. Ah, I remember. Uh, so I took that right to there. And instead of using the uh, big roofing square as I do for framing square, I just used this. I made my mark, put in the tool. Oops, come on, tool. Don't give me no stress. <laughs> past all that. We're past it. <laughs> so tonight we're supposed to get 75 mile an hour wind gusts here in the Mojave. In DVD. But our house, it's built like a fortress, 
So when you're inside of it, it can be windy and like that and don't even know it. We're going to be up on the ramparts of our fortress defending the kingdom. <laughs> All right. Come on, why are you giving me hassle? Where are we getting to the line? Let's work together as a team. There it is. Right there. Oh, so you put the mark at the very end of it. Yeah, that's what you're not seeing inside the tool a lot of times, is that mark. I always index it with that because that's where the tube bend begins. Ah. But I'm putting it in backwards. Let's take this whole mess apart. Because we want the bend to be forward of the mark, not behind. So this, uh, this die and everything fits super tight. It's actually a really, I see that. provides a really good bend for sure. But you gotta think about which way the material is being pulled into the bender because you could go wrong real quick. You'll have dyslexia in no time. You'll be looking at the perfect opposite match to what you're hoping to achieve. All right, let me just look at this bend like I do. Make sure that that, what I'm doing is making sure that that bend is parallel with that. I'm gonna confirm once more that our bend is ahead of that mark, correct. I turn on this Bubba, give it a pull. And now we'll play some elevator music. Yeah. <laughs> I always do this, see, I kinda, just kinda shift it a little bit like that, just to get that pen to set in there. With the manual bender, you're able to jiggle it. As long as these pins are through both plates, we're good. With the manual bender, I'm able to just jiggle it loose, but this hydraulic ram keeps it in shape, so you gotta work a little different with it. And I'm still, I'm still learning this tool. I've never seen anything like this. And I use that reference all the time. I put square pegs in round holes and make it work. So it's coming just around to where it needs to be. Look at that. Looks pretty darn close. And as usual, I'm gonna go just a little bit over because the material tends to spring back into its wanting to be straight shape. And I can always just pull it back a little bit by hand because it's not super strong. All right. See, we're back in the flow. Tools are agreeing with us. There's no gremlins in the audio, is there? Hello, am I on? That's why I got the little blue dot showing now. And we told Ian to talk louder. <laughs> Yesterday was a day, so. It was a day, he was very, very tired. Let's get past that, He's Shall doing. We? He's doing double, triple now, projects. I'm gonna do a quick so. mark on this, and we'll do some cleanup in the last bend. I'm pretty sure what we did on the other side was we cut this right at the end of the 90 degree bend. What I'm looking for here, see, I want these to be the same shape, just like that little gauge I made. Just like that. So I'm gonna mark this, cut it off. I and like it, it's like making it look tougher now. Yeah, it's like a little extra, like the foot rests on a, you know, a quad ATV. Yeah, that's what it was. A little was extra of. protection. So because we were running out of material on the other side, what I resorted to doing was just sticking the end of this thing into the bender and just using what we had. I'm just going to finish off this piece and go with it. So otherwise you'd end up using about two six foot pieces of material. And that is what we didn't have. We only had 10 feet. I'm gonna shut that door on that one. And don't ever put your fingers in there. Come on, what are you thinking? Never, never. If you're using one of these, be careful. That will just, ugh. if you watched the other show, you saw what it did to that big hunk of steel, effortlessly. Ugh. I thought about that when you were like messing with that. I was like, oh Effortlessly. My God. Russia. All right, so. And I've seen some crushing injuries and 
Yeah, do a little wiggle jiggle just to get this thing into position. Come on, work with me. I'm gonna have to squeeze that. It's interesting because it's not a perfect world. With everything you think, oh, it's a simple process. Just do it, right? You no, know, all these little issues arise where you gotta kind of gotta figure things out on the daily. All right, looking at this die, I'm looking at that bend. They are parallel. It's this plane here, straight through and straight through every time. That's what makes it flat. That's going to go back in there as soon as we find the spot. And this one is not going to get pulled to 90. This one's going to get pulled to being parallel with that one. So see, this changed the dynamic. It would be 90-90, but this, who knows? I didn't even measure that. I'm just eyeballing it. Once I see this swing around to a point where it looks like it's pointing in the same direction as that tube, I'm going to call it done. All right, so we're starting to come around the dial, and I'm just looking. I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this, and it's still not there, but it's getting close. And truly, if you were, you know, making something super precise, you'd have to come up with, say, okay, I'm going to measure this angle because we need it to come out to 90 in the end. But this ain't super precise, Bill. This is look at it. Well, and I think some of it, like with building, it's like trusting your intuition and knowing that you have an eye. More like art than yeah, science. Yeah, you can see it. Exactly. All right, so we got that. I'm going to relax it a little bit. Shut this thing down. Get out the door. Up. All right, so a good reference now is, um, I'll just put it on the table to explain what I was describing in real time. This, uh, this seam in the table, I use that routinely for just a good reference of 90 degrees. So I'm just going to compare Right, we're coming across the edge of the table. See, that's a little bit out. It's not actually 90, but that's under the seat. We're not even concerned with that. Uh -huh. But, when you come to here, ooh. <laughs> a little further. But, we can remedy that. We're just gonna look at this buggy. I'm gonna make one cut. Because again, the only thing I'm concerned with is that this matches the existing floor pan, which is probably not 90 degrees, yeah. and then this matches it. So that's where, the, that's where the art comes in. Let me just cut this off and we'll compare it and we'll adjust these bends. Again, because it's not a perfect world, we're just going to make this thing look like it fits in the right place after we have a little sip of coffee. <laughs> nice sticker, huh? You should try one out. They glow in the dark. We'll have them up in a store soon on the YouTubes. They're pretty dope. Again, here we are, back under the seat. Got one there. And this one. You can see it's definitely out of shape. So I'm just going to put this under there. That'll do it. Look at that. That's doing it. There. Look at that. We're right in the ballpark. These are parallel. I'm going to cut this off like so. Then I'm going to get under here because we got some big old lug of steel in our way. Let's see what we need to do here. I'm going to cut this off like that. Like that, and like that. Where I cut those seat belt mounts off, 
where I cut those seat belt mounts off, there's still a big lug of steel there, and I'm just gonna leave it and weld to it, because I know it's dang strong. Prepare to cut. clean up on the rust on this thing and we shall fasten it with liquid metal. <laughs> Get rid of that. Wait to show everybody this truck. I know there's a little preview in our Insta story. And on our YouTube stories. If you haven't seen it, watch it. <laughs> the but, shorts, I should say. You could see that truck, it got smashed in the nose pretty good. But the way that this thing, it's not, it's an international cab and it's a Dodge nose clip. And they made their own cab over. It's really cool. So the hood is custom made and it's just such a shame that it got. Just and, and then what about the, the bed of the, that truck? That's, that's custom made as well, but it's uh, not something I'm going to use. I got, I got way other plans. But the, uh, the hood is so smashed, and we're going to start to repair that tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's cool. I think. <laughs> you'll see the collision damage. The fender got wackadoodled. The hood is smushed. I got an English wheel and a dream. Are you going to save, try to save Little Jewel? Its name is Little Jewel. It's on the hood, you'll see. Like, are you going to try to save the name of it? I think, it I think we might have to heat it up. We might have to get into the paint. Yeah. But if not, we know plenty of really talented people that could uh, oh, yeah. come and reclaim its glory. I think that's going to be the name of it, Little Jewel. Oh, yeah. I didn't even have to name it this time. That's, that's its name. Right? It's like uh, Mr. Bill's project, Old Red. It was Old Red from oh, the start. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, no, like, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if the mic is picking up this wind. It's pretty intense. It's going off. Yeah. All your sins are going to be washed away. Something's going by on this out there. Wind. It's definitely an event. In Tehachapi, supposedly, they're going to get a blizzard. Yeah, because the wind's going to carry it. Probably over to here, too. Get a good solid starter on that. Bring this one into position. Yeah. Like that. I like it. We'll be able to hit the seat mount as we did on the other side. I was able to fasten this right here, Maybe like that. Let me get this first. And again, with these seat mounts, I'm gonna get in and clean it up. This is just a quick effort in getting it attached. Because nobody likes the boring details. Nobody likes them as much as I do, so I'll keep that for myself. <laughs> yeah, this looks all good right through here. Hit this with a weld. And I said it before, but with this welding a heavier gauge metal to a lighter gauge metal, I keep the heat on the thicker business. And just let that weld bead cruise over until it starts to penetrate the lighter gauge tube. This is old material, so it's being a little fussy, but all the rust is literally dropping out. I'm digging into the good metal beneath.
Yeah. Like that. Uh-oh. The gimbal <sighs> is doing it again. <laughs> Yesterday we heard that ding and thinks, <laughs> how's my, your audio's on. <laughs> this time we're resetting it. <laughs> so starting a YouTube channel, you guys, first Woo. of all, everybody, thank you so incredibly much for your support, for your love, all the comments. Had a few not so nice ones. Boo. Um, but um, the I would say the overwhelming majority. So we're still learning this thing. We uh, got some equipment, and it's kind of a grassroots kind of thing. So straight up, we really appreciate all of you just supporting us. It's, it's been a lot of fun. If you want professional results, go to the pros. Otherwise, welcome. <laughs> Cleaned up that. I'm gonna come in, make a little support bar, and we're just about out the door on this. Again, no real measurements, just gonna look at that to that. We're hitting it right in the angle. So I'm gonna just uh, favor it to the outside a little bit, put it in the saw, and I'm gonna use the sheet metal shears. I don't know if we covered that in the other video, but I can fish mouth this, fit it up with just a pair of shears because it's such a thin wall. The old freestyle fit up trick. I like that it'll have like a peg outside so you can kind of like when we're, especially when we're just like cruising going slow, it's like a nice little. Well, more than just a peg, I'm making almost a stirrup, which we'll get into much later. Yeah. I wanted to have a holder. But that's so. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, Yeah, it's like actually going to have like a little outside holder so your foot cannot slide off at all. So yeah. in the summertime, people ask us like, how are we able to live in the Mojave Desert? And we have learned that the wind is our friend in the summertime. So that's also why we love doing so much off-roading because it's windy and you're just not so hot sitting in the hot, hot heat of H-E double hockey sticks. Yes. So that's also why we love like the off-roading so very much. Because you just take a little spray bottle with you, a cooler with a bunch of soda, and go for a ride. Heck yeah. Look at that. I mean, come on. It's not to like about that. Got a little gap in there, but I'll lick that off of the heavier side of the material. Fill that right in. No problem. Well, all right. Let me weld this up. I'm going to sit back in here and do a comparison. back on the thin wall so I'm gonna hit it with step welding like I am not a straight bead just because of the heat of the welder it's a little burn a little hot so I'm able to just let each spot weld cool down and that is an improvement methinks that one little button sticking out below the seat is bugging me. So I'm gonna trim that off. And I think that's gonna be it for this session of the Doom Buggy. Bigger things to come tomorrow, literally. Wait till you see the size of this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. It's so ugly, it's incredible. It's beautiful, it's that much of an impact. Bugs me, I can't even walk away from it. Much cleaner. So here we are. Let's go 
Still going to do a bit of adjustment in the uh, steering column height. But look, already, like, my leg is in here, right? Just a little dealy. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Yeah, that way I mentioned in other videos, I was like that. Never. I mean, hey, woohoo, that's the story, but we're not there yet. So you're going to put more pegs, like, there as well? I'm going to throw the whole kitchen sink at this. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> I just want to get started on that truck. Right. But look, we're almost there. Maybe these tires on the front for desert and not sand. I don't know. These are pretty tight. Definitely have the big and little stagger like that. Oh, yeah. So that's kind of where we're at. We got our dinger dinging again on the audio. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all getting the message. Let us know. Appreciate it. <laughs> And hey, subscribe. Subscribe. We're trying to make this a thing. That algorithm in the YouTube universe it responds to people's comments. So come on. We like the comments. We read them over. We respond to them. Yeah. We love the interaction. It's part of our morning coffee. It's like, hey, they actually like what we're doing. It's true. It is I, part of our morning coffee. Like heck it's yeah. It's awesome. Like heck yeah. On the TV, you get no interaction. It's just being broadcast out there. Actually communicating with people is just like pretty darn cool. Very cool. Come on back now, you hear? <laughs> Good job.